Are you serious about making 2018 your best year ever? I'm talking about the three things you have to do to make it happen. Welcome to the Tom Ferry Show and 2018 being your best year ever. Today, I wanna to talk to you about consistency, consistency, consistency in the one area that's gonna grow your business, and you know what I'm talking about, getting on the phone and booking a lot of business. You know, having been in sales now for, my goodness, like almost three decades, I can tell you that there is not many people that wake up in the morning and say, gosh, you know what I wanna do today? I wanna get on the phone and call strangers. Matter of fact, I don't know many people that wanna code their own database at times. Have you ever been in that situation before? Have you ever known you absolutely needed to do something, but found some way to avoid it just so you didn't have to go through that experience? Has there ever been a time like this? Is this, my friend, one of those experiences? If it is, there's a very good chance that your best intentions for 2018 will fall flat if you don't get over your fear of phone and you don't become consistent with the single biggest leading indicator of all healthy sales businesses. And whether that's getting on the phone, following up, booking appointments, my friends, it's all right here. So I thought what I would do today is share with you three simple things you can do to align your behaviors to make sure that maybe the fear doesn't go away because Fear is sometimes a good thing, but instead we make getting on the phone more natural, more automatic, more effortless. And I know three things plus a bonus one you can do. So let's jump in. Um, one of the obvious adjustments you can make, for example, like I do this in seminars and I say, how many of you enjoy prospecting? And I ask people to raise their hands and you know, you get a few people and I think they wear leather and enjoy a good beating also. You with me on this? Like, oh, I love getting on the phones. There's not many people like that. And yet, I say, well, let me ask you a question. How many of you like going on listing appointments? Oh, every hand goes up. How many of you like making money? Oh, every hand goes up. How many of you like to have excess cash to have more memories and more experiences with the people you love and the, the people you wanna contribute to? Oh, every hand goes up. And then I say, well, how do you get that? Because that's the effect. What's the cause? And I said, it's all about getting on the phone. But here's the challenge. You know in life sometimes when we label things, when we name things, there's an emotional connection to that word. If you said to me prospecting, I actually think of like old black and white movies of the guys in California during the gold rush, big beards, dusty hat, no teeth, sitting by the river, trying to find the gold, right? That's a prospector, like I don't, I don't think about that as a positive association, that's not who I wanna be. Instead, I named prospecting something different. I called it something different that empowered me, that inspired me. It was like something I wanted to do versus the dirty old man down by the river or the you know, depressing you know, uh, uh, this experience that we have in our minds or someone rejecting you. You gotta get rid of that and call it something that fires you up. I wrote down some examples. It's my appointment setting time. We all want appointments. That is the single biggest leading indicator of your success, a healthy calendar full of appointments. So what if you called it, this is my appointment setting time? And we all want that. What if we called it making money calls? What if we called it building my business time? What if we called it, you ready? My kid's future is more important than my candy ass fears. You with me on this? Like my desire to help my family is far greater than any fear I could experience of even looking at the phone or calling a prospect. The first thing I'm gonna ask you to do to become more consistent is call your appointment setting time, call your prospecting, something that inspires you, that you want to do. Change your association, change how you feel, be more aligned, get on the phone. That's number one. It's an easy, subtle one, but I like the easy ones. Number two, you ready? Schedule it with structure. You've heard me say before, if it's not in your schedule, it doesn't exist, we know that. Here's the missing element, and when I reflect on my own experience and you know, coaching so many amazing people, helping and sharing and contributing at events, this is what I know. The structure element is the difference that makes the difference. I think back to, <laughs> to longtime friends, to legendary real estate professionals, Alan Shaffron in San Diego and Stephen Christie out in LA. So big shout out to you guys, and many of you know who these people are, legendary agents. There was a time when these two were partners up in Los Angeles, and they would get on the phones together. They didn't want to get on the phones, they were just like everybody else, but they had associated getting on the phones 
to achieving their goals. So guess what we did? We created a structure where they did it together with a buddy. And guess what? They would get on the phones, two headsets, make their calls, do their follow-up. They did it so many years that they built this legendary business and that discipline has allowed them to have the longevity in their career that most people only dream of. Do you have enough structure? Do you have a buddy you can do it with? I go back to my older brother, Matthew, when we first got on the phone and I'm dating myself. Remember VHS? Like we had an old VHS box with a little screen and we played all the Star Wars movies and we would close our eyes and imagine that we had the force, right? We made it fun, but sitting across from him, there was a time when he said to me, Tom, I really gotta step it up, but I just feel like every time I make a sale, I immediately wanna run away. I, I get an appointment, I wanna go celebrate. And you know what we did? This is crazy. We actually tied a telephone like a cord around my arm and his arm and the deal was, unless we were both going, neither one of us were going. And even though we both know that little cord is not gonna stop us, the psychology of it was we're in this together. We're gonna win together. That will make you more consistent. I also wrote down, consider anytime you can up the accountability. Anytime you could say, and by the way, like you know what's so great about today? Right, think about it. Maybe it's not a person sitting across from you, but with a technology like Zoom, right, I can grab my phone, right, or maybe on my computer screen, and I could use Zoom or Twello or you know, any one of the beautiful video technologies where I could be visually connected during my entire appointment setting time with a friend, with a buddy, or two or three, and we're like, okay, we're all getting on the phone, it's 10 o'clock, we're gonna do our follow-up first, and we're gonna book some appointments, and literally, everybody's on the screen, and you're on your phone and they can unmute and hear what you're saying and you can do the same and everybody's collaborating and building. You with me? It's 2018, my friends. The technology is available for you to create the structure, the structure that will give you consistency. That's what this is about. The second part of that, of course, is accountability. I got 10 bucks as I can get an appointment before you. Man, we start going like crazy. Play into, ready? Either pain or pleasure. Loser's got to buy, winner, right, gets the pleasure. These simple little things built up over time will just like grabbing a weight and working that muscle will build up your endurance and strength and love for the phone. Now, number three before I give you the bonus one, you ready? Um, the sales acceleration formula by a genius Mark Roberge, looks like Roberts, but a GE at the end, um, went to MIT, sitting across from one of his classmates. The guy says, I'm starting a new company. Do you want to join us? He's a total nerd bucket engineer. And his buddy says, we're starting a company called HubSpot. Why don't you be in charge of sales? Well, imagine saying to an engineer, computer scientist, be in charge of sales, how his thought process worked. Well, if you know the story of HubSpot, he and his team were able to grow that business from zero to $100 million and he documented the entire case study experience in a book, you should all read it tomorrow, The Sales Acceleration Formula from Zero to 100 Million, and one of the things he's talking about, and I was chatting with a friend about it this morning, something that we have done forever, and you should do the same, he said, if sales are down, start a competition. If you guys wanna finish a strong month, do a contest. If you know somebody just joined the company, do a contest, do a competition. He understood what you and I both know, in many cases, we will do far more for 10 bucks <laughs> than we will for the $10,000 commission we can get by doing the work. So if you want to incorporate consistency into your business, I'm gonna challenge you to have every 30 days a monthly competition, a monthly challenge. And whether it's you versus you to get to your personal best, level 10, or it's you versus your peers, what we know is this, when you give that extra push, you perform. When you push, you perform. And if there is no push emotionally charging you to do more, a reason to connect the dots and get outside of your comfort zone and go for a little bit more, you're not gonna perform at your very best. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How many times in your own business have you stepped up to win a listing contest, stepped up to do, you know, I'm gonna buy a house at the end of the year so I'm number one in my office. These kind of things happen and they drive us to do the work. And that's what I want you to get. So, very quickly, 
Stop calling it prospecting, that's number one. Schedule it with structure. Use Zoom or another video platform or a buddy inside your office to make it fun and engaging. Add the accountability. Number three, always be doing competitions. Who can set the most appointments in the next 30 days? Who can take the most listings in the next 30 days? These types of things will drive us to do the work that gives us the power. I got one bonus for you, ready? Number four, something I loved and did a million years ago. And matter of fact, I'm looking at Richard. Richard, there's an old video that I did where I, I'm talking off camera here, where I actually filmed myself making calls, right, called the expired edge to expired listings. Now, because we were making phone calls and they were live, of course, we used actors, top agents, as the person on the other line, throwing every objection, challenging me, you know, trying to get me off my game, and it is a fabulous representation. We should put it on and give a disclaimer so people know that I wasn't actually recording people live. It was people that were actors, right? Good agents like you being tough on me. But here's what you're gonna see. I start the session by saying, this is my appointment setting shrine. And what I went is, I went to Staples and I bought one of those display boards, you know, that you can open up like this. And I would tell people, if I wanna kill it over the phone, if I really wanna grow my business, I've gotta build what I call the appointment setting shrine. Ah, oh, you with me? So I would tell people, I made it a ceremony where I would say, it's time for me to get on the phone, it's time for me to book some business. I did my affirmations, I had already done my role play, I would walk over to my stand-up environment, I would open up the shrine, oh, right? I would light the candle in the name of the Father, the Son, and the holy appointment setting ghost, here we go. You with me on this? Like I actually would say those things because it made me laugh and it made me loose. Then inside the shrine, guess what I had? all the most important scripts that I was going to use, my building rapport scripts, my qualifying scripts, the objection handlers of the people that I would normally, the objections I'd normally be getting, out of sight, out of mind. I didn't want to forget what to say. I wanted to know what to say so I can focus on the client. Over here, you ready for this? I had like a photo of Cal Ripken Jr. Now, if you're under 30, you might have to Google who that is, but for a lot of us, if you were a yeah, major league baseball fan, you know, he played a record number of baseball games in a row. And I use that as a metaphor to say, if that guy can play injured and tough and tired and beat up for years and years and years and years, I can get on the phone and I could be consistent a week at a time for 30 days, for 60 days. And it was inspiring me that I had a photo of my family in Hawaii with my kids smiling, and it would say like a little note, Daddy, you know, go get more appointments, take us back to Hawaii. Like those kind of emotional triggers that charged me to get on the phone, and then over here, what did I have? The mirror, right, to remind me to smile. And remember that I was getting on the phone to help somebody, to bring them unique value, to make a difference for them, so they might choose me in my service. I'd open that shrine, I'd make my calls, I'd book my appointments, and I'd close it, light the candle or blow the candle out, take the headset off, and be on my way. Now, my question for you is this. You're in a new year. You've got a goal that you want to achieve. Is this gonna be another year where you just go through the motions, you do it for the first couple weeks, maybe you do it for the first month, then you get busy and you go back to the age-old problem of real estate professionals. I'm poor, I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm rich, and the year is over. Or is this the year that you declare consistency is the name of the game and it's about getting richer, 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 richer because you were consistently doing the one thing you knew you had to do? You know what it is. I can't wait to read your comments. I can't wait for your feedback. Um, we're gonna post that Expired Edge video somewhere on my YouTube channel or maybe on tomferry.com. Give me your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let's make 2018 your best year ever. Hey, it's Coach Tom Ferry. Have you been considering hiring a coach? If so, click the link below and check out what we do.